whole business. So if my computer, I don't have an IT support team out there. So if my computer goes, I have to spend half a day mending it on the internet trying to fix it, and I'm not that up on computers. So I can just ring up Marek. He can come round half an hour. He can mend it, and that's it. He's just some kind of IT genius, really. He just knows bits of everything to do with computers and phones and internet TVs that I'd have no idea how to do. Reliable, local friendly, cost effective, very, very on top of his game of what he knows. Because I was grown up and brought up in a small town, I also, wherever I'm going, to the big uh, city, big agglomeration, uh, I always uh, have an impression that I treat uh, local area as, as the area where I'm growing up. I set up this business about three years ago uh, to help uh, people solving their computer problems with hardware, software, and especially network and internet connections. Sometimes I uh, get involved myself so much that I'm leaving the client, I'm coming home and I'm still trying to get what exactly was the main issue. After probably two, three hours, clients quite often comes and say, you must have a lot of patience to, to, to deal with this. I said, no, I'm just, uh, I just orient, I am very focused right now to, to solve it, <laughs> I just only only this. Uh, about three years of working in a local radio station. Yeah, I was working as a DJ, I was working as a correspondent, I was working as a journalist. It, uh, I had a, a few episodes on the on the stage uh, with uh, music and performing. So. I've got a name. Like a singing bird and croaking toe. I've got a name I've got a name And I carry with me like my daddy did By living the dream He's got a real eye for detail um, And he stayed much longer than I probably paid him to stay But he made sure he stayed until he got the job done Which I was really impressed with He's a really easy guy to get on with as well, so you can ask him stupid questions without feeling in the slightest bit stupid. I did ask some really stupid questions, and he wasn't phased by it at all. When it was done, he checked up afterwards, and um, you know, I had the genuine feeling from if I had problems, he would have come back and dealt with it. Um, so the aftercare was really, really good as well. For me.